What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Toronto Raptors realistic rebuild heavily requested video after the Lakers rebuild we just did so here we are today doing our Raptors rebuild so Raptors are one of those teams in the offseason that didn't do a bunch they made a few signings but nothing crazy and maybe that's in preparation for some big move they're going to make in the next offseason or something at the trade deadline we'll, we'll have to find out what they're brewing but uh let's just go ahead and get into this because like I said there's not really much to talk about make sure you guys leave a like subscribe if you haven't already let's just do this Raptors rebuild what the Raptors did this offseason basically they re-signed Fred Van Vliet super important I'm glad they got him back definitely a very important part of their team they signed Aaron Banks to replace Gasol and Ibaka who they lost both uh which is definitely hurtful they both went to LA teams but Aaron Baines could uh, at least replace some of that production. Norman Powell also still here. Terrence Davis. They signed Alex Lynn to a one-year deal. They signed uh, Stan. Uh, they drafted Malachi Flint, and they also draft or signed DeAndre Bembry. So other than that, they didn't do a bunch. So that was basically it. That's basically all the Raptors really did. So yeah, I'm not really sure what they're brewing up. Uh, the Raptors have been in talks about getting Giannis Antetokounmpo, but I feel like Giannis is definitely in the you know in the running to sign that max contract with the Bucks. I think it makes the most sense. That's what he's gonna do. So I feel like Toronto is one of those teams that kind of needs to make a trade at the trade deadline in order to make this team better. Because I'm just not loving this team on paper after all the you know players they lost. Not I mean they lo only lost two, but I feel like they should try to do something when they lost Kawhi. But at the end of the day, this is still a really good team for the Toronto Raptors and should be a playoff team in the East. But does 2K think this team is going to be a playoff team is the question because I'm not going to do anything this first season. I want to see how what this team is going to do and we'll make our moves in the offseason. If I do stop the trade deadline, which I don't really want to, I'll let you guys know. But I really just want to find out whether 2K thinks the Raptors are a playoff team or not. At the end of season number one, we end up finishing as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. LeBron James is your MVP. Wiseman's your rookie of the year. Dinway is your sixth man. Kawhi Leonard's defensive player. John Moran most proved. And Stevens, coach of the year. Justin Taylor, executive of the year. So we did make the playoffs, which is awesome. When we go look at the player stats, we do have 21 from Siakam, 19 from Kyle Lowry, and 17 from Fred Van Vliet. Kyle Lowry, 19 in uh, seven, which is awesome. I'm really happy that Kyle Lowry is still contributing at the age of 35. But going into the offseason, I have a really tough decision on my hands. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a very tough decision. I'm sure for the Raptors as well. Uh, probably not as much for the Raptors in real life because they could like obviously negotiate with Kyle Lowry. But on this, Kyle Lowry is going to be asking for $30 million. And I think if I gave him that money, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of options to upgrade the team. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about that. But we are playing Atlanta, which is obviously a really good team. They upgraded a lot in the offseason. But we are better as we beat them in five games. And we are on to the second round to play the Orlando Magic. Markel Fultz, Fournier, Isaac Gordon, Vucevic, Mo Bamba, Ross, uh, Michael Carter. So, yeah, I mean, the Raptors have run into the Magic before, so I feel like we should make it to the Eastern Conference Finals here. But the Magic say no, sir, and they are going to beat us in six games. So, uh, we go look at the playoff stats, uh, or if I can look at the playoff stats correctly. So, player stats, we had 20 from Siakam, 17 from Lowry, and 17 from Fred Van Vliet. And uh, we got Boston, Orlando, Los Angeles, and Dallas. And let's see... Who is going to win a championship as we got the Mavericks and the Ma or Mavericks and the Magic making the NBA Finals as the Mavericks take home the championship? Season, I don't really want to make any changes in my head coaching staff, obviously. Uh, for trainer, it doesn't look like there's a better trainer out there. Nobody's going to be an A, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave Glenn Howard. But for the assistants, we definitely could get better here because their ratings aren't so great. So I'm going to go ahead and offer Trent Peterson a contract. I'm going to also offer Otis Newman a contract and have those two be my assistant coaches if I can get them uh, at least. And we got both of them, so that's good. We're going to go straight to the draft now. I don't think we have too crazy of a pick here. But maybe we should use it to our advantage. And uh, Malachi Flynn, who we just drafted, Jalen Harris... Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot here. I think I'm going to just let the CPU decide whoever they want to take as they take Simon Wheeler out of the draft. And we're going to have Aaron Baines, $7 million team option. Just had a pretty decent season for us. But I think at the age of 34, he'd probably go down in overall 11 and 8. That's actually pretty solid. But I feel like I'll probably need that cap space. So I'm going to go ahead or maybe I should accept it to kind of use him in a trade maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to accept it. I feel like that's probably the... Maybe we could use him in a trade for center or something because we don't have a lot of options. Uh, Chris Boucher, OG Nobi, Terrence Davis. I would love to have all those guys back. Amazing role players for us. And then going into the offseason, Giannis Antetokounmpo is obviously somebody the Raptors have been in talks about for, you know, quite some time. 
but unfortunately we don't really have the money for it so lowry ojanobi Boucher, they all want to get paid but when i look at this team the biggest hole we have is the center spot Obviously, we could just roll with Fred Van Vliet at the point guard and leave Kyle Lowry in the waters, but I just feel like I would feel so dirty letting go of Kyle Lowry. So I think we should probably use Norman Powell and also Aaron Baines' money and maybe somebody else to try to get a center because we definitely need a center. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's going to be my first move, getting a center. I'm going to try not to go for Clint Capello, though, just because I feel like I get him way too much. So let me see if I can find a center out there, center out there that would fit us the best to bring here to Toronto. So the center I found out to be the most interesting to try to bring to Toronto would be Nikola Vucevic. I think that's somebody that uh, Magic might be willing to let go of here soon, possibly. It just kind of depends where the Magic are going. But I'm going to offer this package to them for Nikola Vucevic, and they do not agree to that. I will also throw another pick. Not that I love throwing two first-round picks in. Okay, so they don't agree to that. And they still not. They're st okay, so they still don't agree to that. But I will come back to this. So... We can make the money work here, but they're not going to go for it. So, yeah, they don't love this package that I'm trying to give them for Vucevic. What if I throw in Matt Thomas as well? And one more first, and they still don't agree. So, I think I got to come back to the magic, magic with a better package. But I feel like that's the center that makes the most sense. I guess Miles Turner is definitely an option as well, but I don't think he'd make our team much better here on 2K at least. Maybe in real life he would help them out, but on 2K, it's not going to make us much better. There's also Jonas Valanciunas we could have a reunion with, but I think Vucevic is going to be my target. I might have to use OG Nanobi or Boucher in a sign-in trade type of deal for Orlando. Like I feel like uh, Orlando would definitely be interested in a guy like OG Nanobi to help them out. But they do have Jonathan Isaac, so maybe Chris Boucher would entice them. So honestly, I think Kyle Lowry is somebody I definitely want back here in Toronto. I think he's just somebody you don't want to lose. So I'm going to offer Kyle Lowry that contract. We're going to get him back. Uh, I don't want to renounce the rights on any of my role players, obviously, that I want back. So OG, Terrence Davis, and Boucher, we will sign them up real quick. So we'll sign those guys, get those guys back, and we'll have Kyle Lowry come back to Toronto. And then the only other thing I can do is maybe sign, like, can I get Terrence Davis back? And maybe do a sign and trade with him or i could offer boucher to the magic i feel like that's the best option at this point so yeah or like i said i could also offer them og and which i don't really want to do i'd rather keep him here so i'm gonna go ahead and sign chris boucher to a deal try to send him over to orlando and see if i can get vucevic that way we had to throw the whole kitchen sink at the magic in order to get Nikola Vucevic. So we sent Boucher, Norman Powell, a first round pick, Malachi Flynn, Simon Wheeler, and Jalen Harris over to the Magic for a center that we really needed. So yeah, I don't love, uh, you know, the, as much as I traded, but a center was needed really badly. And then at the end of the day, I guess we got to keep Aaron Baines out of it. So Vucevic and Aaron Baines are going to be our centers next year. Siakam still our four, obviously. OG and Obi, we definitely want him back uh, from restricted free agency and shooting guard. Uh, Terrence Davis, I'm not sure if he'll be back. I definitely would love to have him back. But there are some shooting guard options we could go with, like Alec Burks. There's also JJ Redick out here uh, asking for a deal. Ojinobi has accepted or has accepted an offer. And I mean, at this point, I don't really have a choice. I am going to definitely sign Ojinobi back. And hey, we got JJ Redick out of free agency 37. He may not be like fantastic, but you know what? Uh, definitely a need uh, that we needed. So I'm going to go ahead and sign a forward real quick. And I think we made our team better. But, I mean, we did throw a lot for Nikola Vucevic. But at the end of the day, my goal was to keep Kyle Lowry here. I feel like Raptors fans would be happy with that. And we also got Nikola Vucevic and Terrence Davis back on a offer. So we got Kyle Lowry going down overall. Fred Van Vliet, I'm not sure why he goes down overall. I even tried to fix his tendencies or whatever it was before it started. And he's still just going down in overall. I really wish 2K would fix this. Uh, I fixed his potential, I think, as well. And it's still just not there man so i'll probably fix that again i guess if i have to but siaka and vucevic lowry uh fred and Lee, ojinobi i mean i feel like our starting five is gonna be really good jj reddick goes down and overall but that's not, not, not that big of a deal let's just get to season number two and let's make this team better than they were this is what our rotation is going to look like kyle lowry terrence davis ojinobi Siakam, Vucevic, Fred Van Vliet, Aaron Baines, JJ Redick, and Nico Melli. I feel like this team obviously looks a lot better than we uh, looked before. So this should easily be a playoff season for us, and we should easily be contenders in the East. Vucevic is a huge pickup, and I love it a lot. Other than that, we are going to stay at balance with a three and a half star system. And I mean, at the end of the day, if Terrence Davis is struggling at the shooting guard spot, I guess I can move Fred Van Vliet back into the starting five. But for now, we're going to go ahead and simulate season number two. And this should be a better season than we had last year. In the Eastern Conference, Trey Young, MVP, Cunningham, Rookie of the Year on the Wizards. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if they still have John Wall there. But uh, Cousins, six man on the Blazers, eyes defense player. 
Wiseman most improved on the Warriors and Lloyd Pierce coach of the year and Matthew Ash is your executive of the year and here is our team so we're going up against the Orlando Magic interestingly enough in the first round who we did lose to last season so we had uh 20 from Siakam 17 from Vucevic 17 from Lowry 16 from Fred Van Vliet 14 from Davis so he was actually really good in the starting five I like to see that OG uh 10 Aaron Baines 9 and Nico Melli with four so I mean at this point this is probably as good as our team's gonna get I mean I don't think I can make this team much better than it is so if we do end up losing here I probably will just run it back with the same roster because I don't think realistically I can make this roster better without getting rid of Kyle Lowry which I really don't want to do in this video just because I have so much respect for Lowry uh being with the Raptors I just can't even do it so Orlando Fultz Fournier Isaac Gordon and Mo Bamba so they do have Boucher, Boucher, Boucher as well if I could say his name I mean, this Magic team does not scare me. I feel like we should be able to beat them. So let's see what happens. We do win game one. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. And we're up three to one and we beat them in five. So we are going to have to play Atlanta, which we actually did beat this team last year. So I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off again, but you never know. We might be able to do it. So their team is obviously extremely deep and their young players probably only got better. And Trey Young just had an MVP season. So this is going to be an uphill battle to climb, but let's see what happens. So they win game one. We even it up though. Uh, we're up two to one. Okay, three to one. And can we? No, three to two. Can we do it, man? We win in six, and we're in the Eastern Conference Finals as we upset the Atlanta Hawks. That is a big W. And now we're playing the Celtics and the Memphis Grizzlies and Denver Nuggets are facing off. So Boston, Kemba, Smart, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Williams. Obviously a really good Boston team. This is going to be another tough uphill battle to climb. But we just beat Atlanta, who were the first seed, and now we got Boston. So let's see what happens. Game one goes to them game two goes to them game three goes to us can we even up the series three to one no way we come back from a three to one deficit right to upset the celtics it's probably not going to happen here but you never know let's simulate and let's see if we can maybe come back from a three to one deficit and it just isn't going to happen as we lose it by five to the boston celtics and now we got Memphis and Boston, and we are going to see the Celtics win the championship. So at the end of the day, we did lose to the championship Celtics. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm going to probably just run it back one more season. That's the best I can do. Trading Kyle Lowry is going to have to be a thing, and the Raptors are going to have to do. But in real life, I think Kyle Lowry is going to ask for as much money as he's asking for in 2K. I think Lowry would be uh, a little bit more nicer to the Raptors. He wouldn't want as much money. Hopefully, I'd like to think maybe make their team better, or he's just going to want the money before he retires. Who knows? We'll have to figure it out once that actually happens but for now this offseason is probably not gonna be too exciting we're literally gonna try to get the team to be the same and hopefully season number three we can run it back and make it back to the nba finals or to the western Con or eastern conference finals this is gonna be a new thing that i don't think i've ever uploaded on the channel 36 and 46 guys this is the team that we had and 2k thinks that it just wouldn't be good enough to even make the playoffs and one of the worst teams in the east and i wanted to show you guys that this team is one of the worst teams in the east according to 2k which is kind of surprising to me to say the least uh i'm not sure why that is but that's just the reality of the situation so uh we went from the eastern conference finals to not even making the playoffs the very next season doesn't make a ton of sense player stats 24 21 15 14 and 14 i knew this was gonna be a tough rebuild going into it because i knew kyle lowry is so important to toronto that i feel like the only way i could actually you know get a fresh start for toronto was trading kyle lowry but i just didn't really want to do that today as the lakers go on to win the championship with Giannis Antetokounmpo of all people on the lakers so yeah i understand that this definitely isn't how a rebuild usually ends but i wanted to be with i honestly really wanted to be as real with you guys as possible if i'm going to be realistic that's what i'm trying to accomplish here and this is basically what happened man so we are the 14th seed in the east and we weren't good enough to even be in the playoffs which i find very interesting but regardless i think toronto uh, i think they're gonna be good for a while i think they'll still be fine for a while obviously fred van vliet siakam gives them a huge boost they'll be fine fred van vliet going down overall in 2k doesn't help either i'm not really sure how to fix that i've probably been told before i just don't remember but yeah that is a weird way to end a rebuild i completely understand but that is just around the situation we got to the eastern Army finals lost to boston and now we're not even in the playoffs but i hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless toronto like i said is gonna be in good shape for a while with siakam and fred van vliet and I, I assume kyle lowry will still be there for a while as well and i i assume they have something up their sleeve like signing Giannis or trading maybe for demar DeRozan or reunion with DeRozan or something else happening but for now this is crushables i'm saying peace